Mr. Kastenberg's fault that his pacemaker went on the fritz. <laughs> oh, yes it is. Those things don't last forever, you know. He could have had a maintenance check six months ago, not wait until the damn thing gave out. <laughs> Fanny, it's a pacemaker. It is not a Buick. <laughs> anyway, Mabel's cousin Herman is coming. Get her to sit you next to him. And then if you're not interested, guess what? Maybe I will be. Don't be silly. You're flying down to Miami on Tuesday to spend the week with Oscar. Uh, not if I have a good reason not to. <laughs> Don't be silly. <clears throat> but I have a good reason not to. You know, I would really like to stay here. Speaking of which, did you meet the Freeman's new summer tenant. Any vital statistics yet? Vital statistics? Yeah. Over <coughs> 70, under 65, missing teeth, toupee, hair we? Disgusting odors or visibly disgusting habits. <laughs> You've been hanging around with Mabel too long. I just caught a glimpse of him on the Freeman's balcony yesterday morning. He was drinking a Bloody Mary and wearing some sort of Sultan costume. I guess that means he's planning to come to the social. We can meet him tonight. Yeah, good idea. We'll introduce ourselves to him, and we will welcome him to the building. If we like him, I'll bake another pudding cake, and we will drop it off by his apartment tomorrow. He'll have to invite us in for coffee if he has any manners. Oh, good, there you are. <laughs> You'll never guess I have information. What is it? It's a secret. <laughs> Better tell us. If I tell you, you have to swear not to repeat it. Of course, my lips are sealed. Mine too. <clears throat> it's so exciting. But well, what is it already? Guess. Not this again. Oh, don't be such a spoil sport. I play along when you have information. Okay, what's the category? Well, if I tell you that, you're going to guess for sure. If you want me to work on it, you will have to give a category. Those are the rules. All right, don't get so official. Let me think. Category. Category. <gasps> Who's been sleeping in my bed? That's a favorite category. Let's see, male bed? Female bed, I'll guess male bed. No. Huh. How about that? Female bed, that's more interesting. Friend or relative? Guess it could be a relative of a friend. I know. Sam Werner's daughter-in-law, she's such a floozy. Uh-uh. Not a relative. <laughs> hmm. Female friend. Okay. Redhead, gray, or bleach blonde. I'll go with bleach blonde. I know who it is. It's not Gloria Lichtenstein. But, but that's a good guess. Darn it. I thought I had it. I can't think of anybody. Wait. What about Gladys Rosenberger? Oh, right. She got 
divorce last year from husband number four. Gladys always has company in her bed. It wouldn't be a big deal. But I'll give you a clue. Not a bleach blonde. Really? Then how about, no, she's blonde. I can't think of any redheads. Brown? Yep. You, Mabel? Is it you? Oh, don't I wish. It's definitely <laughs> not me. Well, if it's not you, and it's not Thelma, Thelma, it's not you, right? Oh, not until Oscar comes home, darn it. So it's not Thelma, and it's not me, then I guess it must be Sylvie? Don't be ridiculous. I guess Elaine Packer. One of you is correct. No kidding. Elaine's got a boyfriend already. Are you sure? Her husband has only been dead for about 10 months. Who is it? Did you set her up? I didn't say it was Elaine. No, it's it's Sylvie? Bingo! <laughs> You're making this up. I don't believe it. I do. Her prim and proper school teacher widow routine is a farce. She's as horny as the rest of us. <laughs> Who was she sleeping with? Did she tell you? Well, not exactly. Then how do you know she's got the gentleman caller? I still don't believe it. I'll tell you, but you cannot repeat this. Sylvie mustn't know that I told you. She'll tell you when she's good and ready. What did you do, Mabel? Walk in on them or something? Or something. <laughs> you did not. You walked in on them when they were. <gasps> My goodness, of course. She gave you a copy of her key. Poor thing. Sylvia must have died of embarrassment. No, no, I didn't catch them in the act. But I'm pretty sure I caught them right after. That man couldn't even stand up straight. <laughs> <laughs> when did you catch them together? She just got back from Israel a couple of days ago. It was the morning that we found Gertrude Goldblatt found that body in the pool. Oh, I forgot to tell you. It wasn't a dead body after all. What? Mr. Waterman told me that he heard one of the paramedics say that the body still had a pulse. Anyway, Fanny and I missed all the commotion because we went over to Tropicana for the lunch buffet. We asked Sylvie if she wanted to go, but she said she was too busy to go with us. <laughs> She was busy, all right. <laughs> oh, what was Sylvie saying? How long has this been going on? She's been out of town for the last three weeks. That sneak. Did she have a boyfriend before she left on her trip and she didn't tell us? Who is it, Mabel? Come on, who is it? You may have seen him around. He's that new kid on the block. For pity's sakes, Mabel, tell us. Well, you know, the Freemans went to Europe. And their place was up for summer rental, right? Well, he just rented their condo through Labor Day. Him? We were just talking about him before you got here. You met him already? No, but I saw him on the Freeman's balcony. He was all dressed up for the party tonight. <laughs> Look, here comes Sylvie. Not a word, or I mean it. Or you'll never get any more information from me. Here she, here she comes. And I'll never speak to either of you again. Oh, Sylvie, how are you feeling? You gave me such a scare the other morning, you fainted dead away. I hope you made a doctor's appointment. I'm fine. It was just jet lag. Don't fuss over me. I can make you some chicken soup, Sylvie. That'll help you keep up your strength. Uh, that is, if you need to keep up your strength for anything. That is, um... If you need to be strong for any type of physical activity, <laughs> not that I think you need to exercise or anything. Oh my, look at the time. Come along, Thelma. Water road starts in 15 minutes. <laughs> Coming, Mabel? I'll meet you at the pool. Bye-bye, Sylvie. I'm glad you're feeling better. Keep your strength up for physical activity. That was really smooth, Fanny.
Leave me alone. I get tongue-tied. I didn't say anything wrong. You told them, didn't you? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> what did you say to them? Nothing. I got here right before you did. I don't believe you. What did you tell them, Mabel? I don't want any gossip flying around here. Don't worry. Your secret is safe. <laughs> I don't have any secrets. At least not the one you think. <laughs> well, I'll be. Look at who's coming out for some fresh air and sunshine. <laughs> Mabel, the pleasure of reacquaintance is all mine. I'll see you tonight at the social, I hope. Ta-ta. <laughs> I'm very pleased that we meet again. Mistress, I mean Mrs. Goldberg. If there is anything I can ever do for you, I shall be most honored to accommodate you. Don't you listen. I don't want anything from you. I keep telling you that. Of all my former masters, you are by far the most selfless. No disrespect intended, but the meager breakfast you wished for was hardly worth the effort. Okay. You want to know? I'll tell you. I go to bed every night, and I thank God for my blessings. Don't get me wrong, I'm not rich, but I'm not poor either. The only thing I want is to keep my reputation as a respectable widow. And for you to leave me alone. Now, I appreciate you helping me get rid of the body in my closet. <laughs> but I wished you your freedom. What are you doing here? You are a very wise woman indeed. So many of my former uh, masters were not careful about what they wished for, and they were disappointed. I figured that out when the body in my closet wound up in my swimming pool. <laughs> Besides, what else would I wish for? Precisely. It is unfortunate how many people never learn that lesson. Since you're a free genie now, why are you here? Why don't you go home to wherever aging genies live? Well, I believe I told you I am the last in a long line of genies. And some of them have been granted their freedom. And they have gone to live really anywhere. And um, I have chosen to stay right here in Baltimore. Yeah. In New Jersey? <laughs> you want to live in Rockaway? I am indeed, Miss Goldberg. In fact, my new residence, at least temporarily, is right up there in Unit 608. You rented the Freeman's condo? Exactly. How could you do that to me? I simply made an inquiry about vacancies at the front office and was fortunate enough to find the perfect abode. Didn't they do a background check? You're a genie. Do you have a credit card, a social security card, a green card? <laughs> there was a young woman in the office who did me the great favor of working with me on all the paperwork. And of course, she appreciated the little bag of gold coins and the <laughs> diamond and emerald necklace that I gave her. <laughs> Oh, boy, the front office is on the tank. <laughs> no wonder they keep robbing our buildings. To be sure, this is a very hospitable environment. Tonight, there is even a festival in celebration of my heritage, Seniors of the Sahara. 
I would be honored if you would come with me. Oh, uh, it's, it's like water aerobics is about to start. <laughs> Why me? Why me? Why did I have to go to Egypt for the weekend? Why did I have to buy that stupid tea kettle? Water aerobics? Oh my God, they'll be on him like creepy. 